What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great weekend. Anyways, um, I want to share with you um, some books I picked up uh, that I've kind of referred to back and forth sometimes with uh, as far as brewing goes. The very first book I got, and I actually got it with my very first beer kit, is this uh, How to Brew book from John Palmer. Um, it tells you everything from your water quality down to your hop variety types and malt characters and just kind of breaks everything down for you from extract brewing all the way to all grain brewing. So this is a really good book to have. Um, <clears throat> another book I picked up just because I was, it just kind of grabbed my interest is this uh, Clone Brews book, uh, Recipes for 200 Commercial Beers. It's got a lot of clone recipes in it for uh, brewing a lot of the commercial beers. I've tried a couple of them and one of them was the brown ale one and I didn't really think it came out that right. Uh, the Newcastle Brown. I didn't think it came out that good so it just didn't taste like Newcastle. It didn't have that nutty character to it maybe because of the malt I used wasn't maybe exactly what was in the book but the Sierra Nevada clone recipe in here is excellent. It tastes very much like the real deal. So uh, if you get a chance and you want to hinder yourself, there's a lot of lager recipes in here. So go and get this book. So yeah, good book to have. Another one, and this book um, is actually, the story behind this book is uh, with the late passing of Strat Beer, Ronald Derry, I just found out his name was Ronald Derry the other day. Uh, I think Looney and Larry, you pointed that out. But uh, is this homebrew beer book? Uh, there's one particular uh, video that Strat Beer had put out uh, that he was doing a smash beer, which I'm doing tonight, and we're going to video that. Uh, he did a smash beer, and uh, he was referring to this book. He called it the Homebrew Bible. And I got to kind of paging through this book, and uh, it's got a lot of good stuff in it. The cover wants to slip off here, but it's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got, uh, you know, everything from bottling to all grain brewing to um, even uh, recipes, you know. It's got great photographs in here of uh, what your beers should look like if you go by their recipes, right? So, good book to pick up. Um, it's $22 if you buy it new. That's twenty-two dollars. I bought it on Amazon for five dollars, and the book is the book is in incredibly good shape. The only thing is they have a publisher's mark or whatever they call it, uh, where they take books off the market. I'm not sure what a publisher's mark. You have to look it up. But they got this little mark on here, and that was the only thing they said on Amazon that was a problem with the book. So, anyways. Yeah, so these have been my, my little late, uh, late night reading books, you know. It just makes you want to brew more beer, honestly. So, But I picked up the homebrew beer book, especially because uh, Strat Beer had it. Grabbed my curiosity. I was like, man, that book looks great. Uh, uh, it's in his Smash Beer video. Uh, I think it's called Amarillo Smash or Grandfather Smash, something like that. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm going to brew an Amarillo Smash Beer in Strat's honor. So, that's coming up here in my next video. Cheers, just wanted to share these books with you real quick, and uh, we will see you here when I do the Smash Brew, so, cheers.